the sole premise duffel. I've often wondered how many pairs you can actually fit in here. So I'm just gonna test this out real quick. We've got some sevens. We've got the great eights. Shout out Jumpman Blastic. We're gonna skip a few years. Go straight to the good stuff. Excellent. Pair of 12s, can't go wrong with those. And last but not least, a good old pair of last shots. That is quite a few pairs. Not bad. But anyways, with all that being said, man, what the fuck? Hey, what's good guys? My name's Chris. Welcome back to the official weartesters.com YouTube channel. Today we are reviewing some flea market J's. Just kidding, these are real. I couldn't help it, okay? I just couldn't. And these, my friends, are the Jordan 2 trays. I don't know what exactly to say at right this moment, so I guess that's a great segue for today's sponsor. Sole Premise offers premium bags just like this one. They are great quality, great craftsmanship. There's plenty of different colors as well, so if you like to stand out amongst the crowd, you can basically do that with a backpack or a duffel and all that stuff. They got two different size backpacks. They've got a normal size backpack, which are my favorite. They also have a large backpack, which is perfect for traveling. Again, they also have these duffels as as well we have a significant discount code if you were interested in trying any of their stuff out we do have a direct link down below in the description box and just as a disclaimer if you stuff all that heat into this bag and then dump it out a turd is not what you will find Now this shoe is interesting because for one it's a brand new hybrid for two it comes in a brand new style box and yes they didn't double box it again. Oh dear. This box is actually cool looking. It's clean. I almost thought it was a women's release because it was white and uh, that's what they've been doing in case you haven't like bought any women's shoes or women's Jordan shoes. So we've got this white box with the red logos. Inside though we've got brand new paper. It's also white with red branding on there or red 23s. I think the best part about this entire shoe and the package and everything is this guy right there. It's very cool. However it's not historically accurate. I will talk about that in a little bit but basically every model that makes up this model is shown right here. First off, I will say that the black and red colorway looks 10 times better than the Concord colorway, which I think is insane because the Concord 11 is, it's just one of the best shoes ever. You know what I mean? It's maybe number one. It's crazy. So to say that this looks better than that, I'm just kind of like, what? But anyways, it literally will tell you like what models make up the shoe. They bray it out. So like you're gonna see that is the part of the shoe that they used on the new model, which I think is cool. I think the Jordan brand or, and any brand should be doing this. Not even considering that they're hybrids or not, like they should just be like showing you what they just made. That way they can teach the customer what they just bought and why they should be appreciating it. So first things first, this is a hybrid. It's called the two tray. It's made up of supposedly every model that MJ wore during his championship championship runs, both of them, two trays, right? So he got two three-peats. That's what the model stands for. Oh, that's Very so clever. clever, yes. Uh -huh. I so, thought they were just doing two, three, No, 23. I mean, you, you could, <laughs> it could be one of both. You know what I mean? So two tray is two, three. Two trays is also two three-peats. So it kind of depends on how you want to look at it. I'm considering it the two three-peats, mainly because of the back tab right there, the Jordan 12-esque label where it has Jordan on there and then every championship year. So to me, two tray. It also says, has two tray on the shoe right there they switch that little tab up instead of it saying Jumpman Jordan or in a very rare instance when it said Jumpman Jan if you guys know what I'm talking about Michael Jackson no it oh. was with the uh <laughs> that was cool though but no it was the original Space Jam release in 2000 mm. or 2001 that first Space Jam shoe actually said Jumpman Jam instead of Jumpman Jordan so the outsole is interesting. I don't dislike it whatsoever. I think that it's really clever the way that they inserted every single piece from all of these different shoes. I love that they're still taking the Concord look with the purple and things like that, and they've added it on there. So we've got the Jordan 11. We've got the Jordan 11. We've got the Jordan 8 or 7. Kind of depends on how you look at it. In case you don't believe me, it could be either one. You've got very loose threads of the Jordan 14, which are the XIV hit at the center that's very awkward and out of place, along with that little last thing right there. However, what's missing is a giant torsion or shank plate and it's needed on a shoe like this where you have a little carve out or hump and everything because if you were to play in these ah! yeah that's bad I'm gonna try so hard not to be mean I'm gonna be critical and uh, make it make sense hopefully 
So clearly this is a lifestyle model. It's not a performance shoe. Just to put it out there, do not play basketball on these. If you do and you over twist that shoe and you mess up your foot or your ankle, that's on you. They're not gonna promote this as a performance model. They're, they're just not, even though it's comprised of performance models. When you move on up, there's a midsole there. It's very reminiscent of the Air Jordan 11. Feels like it's injected file on. It's very bouncy. It feels very good. I like that. I wish that the actual 11 retros felt like this with their foam. However, inside that foam, they could have done anything, literally anything. They could have done full length air, heel and forefoot zoom, full length zoom. They only have zoom air in the heel and that's it, man. Like there's nothing in this shoe. It's so dumb. And then they got this guy right there. Okay. This Swiss cheese piece of ortho light. And then they put the flight logo on there. You know what that's from? The Jordan 4. You know what's not part of this shoe? The Jordan 4. Why is that there? Again, I'm not trying to be mean, but to me as a long time Jordan fan, big time Jordan fan. Big, huge. Whoever made this, it doesn't feel like they actually know like Jordan stuff. None of it. There's a whole model missing here. <laughs> Did you know that he wore the Jordan 13? That entire in season. Where is it? I know that they did the six rings. I get it. But guess what that shoe had? That shoe had every shoe that's listed in this plus the 13. You know why? Because he wore those shoes to get the rings. That's what this shoe's supposed to be about. It's like, how do you omit the main shoe for that year? He wore the 14s for what? Two games? There's no excuse for that, man. This is the brand telling the brand's history incorrectly. Maybe they just wanted to use the shoes that were on his feet the night. Nope. Oh. I don't care. <laughs> I don't care what the semantics are. This just, it's sloppy, dude. It's sloppy, it's inconsistent, it's not accurate. It's bad, it's bad business. You're a heritage brand and you're telling your heritage wrong. But what about that leather? Okay, so now that I'm done with my rant, my super cool nerd rant, you know what could be from the 13 that they should have listed on here is this tongue logo. I know the Chanel patch is from the Jordan 8, I get it. But can, uh, can let me see if I can reach these. The performance brand logo for that year when the brand was finally its own brand. Again, they're omitting their own history. This was on all of their apparel, all of their shoes, except for, well, not this shoe, but like it was on like the team shoes and stuff, like the Pro Quicks and stuff like that. It was on this colorway. It was not on the other original colorways, but this was the brand's logo at that time when the brand became a brand for the first time. Again, they left it just completely out. It's just so not cool. Keep it together, man. But as far as the materials go, we've got fake patent leather. We've got really see-through mesh. We have a ton of just fake plastic. Like this is plastic. There's no Durabuck on here. You know, the eights, the sevens, they had Durabuck, dude. Nothing, nothing. Even these back panels right here that have the texture of leather, it's just the texture. It's not even leather. The only leather that's on the shoe is on the toe right there from the Jordan 12. And guess what? This little piece of leather is better than any pair of 13s or any pair of 12s that they have released in the past like five or six years maybe seven years why like why can't i get this leather on my actual 12s why can't i get this leather on the toes of my 13s why is it on this thing I just don't get it. So is there anything redeemable about the shoe? Personally, I think no. Like as a sportswear shoe or as a lifestyle shoe, it is what it is. If you like how they look, wear them. You know what I mean? Like I'm not gonna dog anybody that would do it. It's just as a performance shoe, as the performance brand of excellence, which is their own line, this doesn't even fit in their stuff. I would rather see the Deltas than this. Wow. If you were interested in the shoe though, they do fit true to size. They are fairly comfortable for what they are, but it's mostly because the foam is so soft. That's like their only like truly redeeming quality. I do think that that's a bad thing though. Cause again, when you have this big hole right here, even casually long-term throughout the day, your weight's gonna bow that and it's gonna flex it like that. And that is why there's torsion plates in certain shoes and stuff when they have this big old cavity in there and everything that's missing. Sounds like they need some good insoles. <sighs> At the least, which you can find somewhere on the screen. But uh, that's my thoughts on the Jordan 2 tray. I think that it could have been something cool and it just isn't. The box art is dope as f though, I gotta say. I gotta give them props for that. Whoever made that. But with all that being said, sound off below. Let me know what you think about these in the comment section. Let me know what you think about the missing tech. Let me know what you think about the missing model. Uh, let me know what you think about the random insertion of the flight logo, uh, even though it has no place with any of these shoes. So yeah, let me know down below in the comment section. I've already seen a lot of comments online, like on the Instagram posts and things like that. And people don't like these. They're trolling on these hard. But thank you so much for watching. Thanks for all the support. Sound off below. Let us know what you think about these. And until next time, guys, uh, hopefully I see you next time in a better mood. 
for the record, I'm not in a bad mood, okay? I'm in a great <laughs> mood. I woke up fantastic today. Uh, but, um, yeah, these are just garbage. I can't help it. 